These bandits are thick, but nobody's going to find me down here. Actually found some artifacts. Must try to find a buyer. Maybe I'll actually make enough coin to pay these fools what I promised for their labor. Can't go to Markarth again. Staying in the ruins for now. What's my next move? Um, dying, I'm afraid. Why did these idiots place their campfire outside, exposed to the elements? I mean, they did the same for their sleeping structure and their dining area. I mean, all right, if you want a bit of fresh air, perhaps you want to sit outside in the, in the spring and the summer, but this is... Well, there are no signs of spring and summer. And you're going to get snowed on and occasionally rained on. Why didn't they just build... The, you know, move these boxes, maybe. Or hell, just move this, build it here, then you've got a natural sort of ventilation area. It's not like the place is going to fill with smoke. Look at it. The smoke would rise up and then would drift out of there. But it would keep this area warmer. The fire would be less likely to get blown out or soaking wet, you know, when it finally went out. And then you could have some of the bedrolls here, again, not exposed to the snow, and near the sort of glowing fire. These people were too stupid to survive Skyrim, in my opinion. Yes they were. It's like they've gone out of their way. I mean, I'm not an outdoorsman, so maybe I'm missing something. Is there some major advantage to having all the important, I don't know, living areas outside? I mean, even this here. This man sat on a seat guarding up there. He's a prime target. You, 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 you can get the drop on him from up there on the rock. Or even over there, he's going to be shot, clearly visible, and exposed to the, the weather. Whereas, he puts a chair here, maybe even puts some vines and covering. He could stay here looking out, viewing this area, and almost be invisible to people outside. I mean, really? It's like they're not taking the whole banditry thing seriously. I mean, it, it, I don't know, like, like, like they're just doing it for the lols. Maybe they're not really bandits. Maybe there's, I don't know, students from the College of Winterhold. Role-playing or something? Live action role-playing. Okay, this time we're bandits and all the friends are about to come over here making lots of noise and there's going to be a pretend bat. Their weapons weren't fake weapons, but they tell you what... I think it's time to get out of here, because either way, I'm not going to get a satisfactory answer, am I? No, I'm not. So, we now have all of our contracts for Nazir done, and, of course, we have Cicero dead, officially. So the question is what to do next. Because there was a little side of me because um, obviously we've got to go back to Dawnstar and get the boat, and that's going to take us to Solitude, and then we can just take the carriage to Falkreath. But I was thinking, while I'm in Solitude, that's not really near there, is it? That's There's this old assassin who has some gear, but it's actually, I would say from the looks of things, they did mention Deepwood Redoubt. I have a horrible suspicion we're going to have to go through there, but at the very least, come up here. And that means going from Solitude all the way around here, through Dragon Bridge, all the way around and up, or past Meridia's statue, all the way up north. I mean, it's a bit of a trek, isn't it? And then we've got to make our way back. And honestly, I, I have to say, I, I feel like we should get back to Astri sometime soonish and tell her the good news that 
Cicero is dead. Where did we leave the horses? Can you remember? Where did we leave the road? That's the... Uh, I think it was down here. Uh, I'm getting completely lost. Yes. Was it... Was it there? Was it... It was... I'm going the wrong way. We're go we're, of course we're going the wrong way. Yes, so, um... I'm, I'm just thinking that we, we should get back and tell her that Cicero is dead and uh, we need to come up with a convincing story and the longer we take, the less convincing that might be. See, what I'm thinking is we tell her that we're fairly sure he's dead. That way we get the sort of uh, deniability if he just turns up one day. You see, we've got an outfit, a jester's outfit. I say what we do is we say we found a body that had been stabbed, its head was mostly destroyed, the face had been ripped off and eaten by a troll, because of course there was a troll in there. Yes, there was. So we say, yes, we think, we think, on Bjorn, we condemned to the point where the troll got him, so we didn't actually have to kill him, but he is definitely dead. And we stabbed the corpse for good measure with a poison dagger. So... Okay. Which of you has started leaving presents for me? I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say... Probably you? I can make a replica of the pest poison. This is the poison I use to kill the rats and um, make the, the mead a little uh, toxic so that we could get rid of the guy in the meadery outside of Whiterun for Maven Blackbriar. Okay. It requires glass. I need to collect... Oh, I can make two of them? So I, I need to collect... I need to bring a ton of... Oh, all items displayed. Ah, I'm glad you're here. Oh! What? I have come across a rare discovery indeed. I got word of a unique relic and was able to procure it from the cellar. Use it if you wish or place it on display. Oh. Oh. Okay, did you just, did he just give me something? Did I, I wasn't paying attention. Did he give, did he gave me something? It was a, okay. Was, was it, did I have all of this? Did I have, skull crusher. I don't remember the skull crusher. Do you remember a skull crusher? I don't remember a skull crusher. If I, Dawnbreaker seems to have disappeared. If I do this now, is skull Skull Crusher going to disappear as well. It's not really a me thing, is it? I'm not totally sure that shield is a you thing either. I mean, it's probably good that you have a shield. It's just a bit, you know, I don't know. Old and unstylish. Yeah, we need to get you something a little um, more dashing. Yes, we do. Let's have a... Okay, it's it, it has in fact gone. Is the replica of the poison now gone? It probably is. And I could probably spend the next year and a half attempting to find it. What on earth are these? Oh, these are... Ah, I was going to say, that's not a book. Uh, it's a space for the book, I assume. I need to bring a lot of stuff. I need to bring a lot of books, a lot of crafting materials. Weapons very often get displayed out here. There's Aegis Bane. There's Sixth House Bellhammer. Stendar's Hammer. Oh, God. All right. Where was... Where is Skull Crusher? It could be... The Coral Dragon... Claw. Oh no no! I'm gonna I'm gonna. Aren't I going to need the coral dragon claw? Isn't that the one I needed for? Oh, I better take that. I better take that. I might need it. Yes, 
indeed. I wish I could find a list of all of the things I've stored here. I wonder if I can. I probably can. There's probably some magical desk somewhere with a long list of all the things I have got stored here so that I can... I can take them back. I know we've got supplies. Bookshelf, leather, um... Archaeology workstation, replica. This is only the things that I have found. Quill of germination. I'm going to need a quill for that. Supplies. It's not going to be under the supplies, is it? It's not letting me actually... Sort chest. If I access the sort chest, it's giving me nothing. I've, I've not... There's almost certainly somewhere... A chest that lets me see what I've got stored here. But you know what? I'm going to leave that for another day. It's gone midnight and... I'm trying to decide whether or not we should spend the night here in solitude. Search chest empty. See, that is that doesn't have anything in it. You know what? Either, either spend the night here in solitude or get back to Falkreath as quickly as possible. I really, really do. I want to get back to Falkreath and um, start constructing this story, you see. Yes, I do. I'm a little... I, I wouldn't say nervous, but I'm a little unsure of how well my story is going to be received. It, it is a bit of a dangerous game I'm playing, leaving him alive. But to be honest, apart from the fact that I do not want to take the duties of the Keeper over, I really do suspect... I don't want to annoy the Night Mother by killing her personal... Um, would, it, would it be fair to call him a maid? Handmaid? Type thing? Kind of is, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, let's have a night's nice sleep. I mean, the thing is, all things considered, I think Astri has to go. I do like her. I like her a lot. But Welcome she to the winking does seem hell-bent on trying to annoy a Daedric huh? oh, prince, sorry. which... Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. Generally speaking, sure it's yours for a day. I feel is, is akin to wearing I'll copper underwear in the middle of a lightning Swipe. storm, screaming, all the gods are bastards. Ser seriously, all my... All my I don't, I don't know about that, but all of my components and all of my food have make requests. Disapp oh. Damn it, that museum is going to get on my nerves. It's taken all my bloody food. I think it's taken all of my ingredients. And since I'm not really ready to move here yet, let's try taking them all. 239. What about raw food? It took my raw food as well. Annoyingly enough, it didn't actually make it available at the cooking station, which is... Which is unfortunate. How... Yeah, I'm now carrying a lot more. I got a sweet roll for you. You want to talk? That is unfortunate, because okay. I did go to the cooking station, and it did not actually... Um, have any options available, and it should have had at least a few, because I do have some things. Okay, let us get back to it. This also means if I put the po if I put the ingredients in here and manage to find... Do, do, do you have crafting stations? Hmm? Where should I put up displays? No, I already asked you that, haven't I? Well, here in the Hall of Heroes is where you should place any artifact of magical or historical nature. Yeah, yeah. The Daedra Gallery, of course, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had, had this conversation. Why... Go. And the Hall of Lost Empires is where you should display any and all items of Dwemer or Thalmer nature. The armories you can display as you see fit. Lastly, the Gallery of Natural Science. If you bring some samples of flora and fauna, you can build fauna displays... I discovered that. Flora. Have we not had this conversation? Anyway, what's next? Very simple. 
you keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Right. Have a look around and find a spot to display it. In addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits based on those exploits. That's nice. That's really good. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring to the people. Do you have a crafting place? And also, any chance I can... Farewell. Yeah, thanks. Now I'm going to have... I'm going to go and have breakfast before your bloody museum steals it from me again. Did that bloody museum steal my potions? It's a oh, for that looks like an ugly little man. It's a root that looks like an ugly little man. Yeah, okay, just uh, mandrake. I, <sighs> We're going to have to stop going there if it keeps doing this. Either that or... Put some leather armor on it and commission it as a thief. Well, Artax is still here grazing, which is oddly comforting. Yes, it is. And it's raining, which is also oddly comforting. One day I'm going to arrive here and it'll be gloriously sunny and I'm going to be totally thrown off my game. Yes, I am. I... Are we being a little lazy taking the horses that far? I sometimes think it takes us longer to climb on and off the horse and then trot the short distance than it would to just fall down the hill. Still, there's a certain style to riding out of town, isn't there? Plus, if you just walked out of town, everyone would know you weren't going very far. You couldn't kid them that you were going for a, a morning canter. Oh, you're going at that funny-looking door down the hill, aren't you? Yes, you are. We know you're up to no good. So, you know, just, just, just keep the illusion up of a gentleman going out for a bit. Of, okay. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. Damn. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Very dead. Yes, he's very dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Eaten by a Tell troll. What? Why don't you Mostly. hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? Yes! He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Okay, right. Now you're sounding a little more reasonable again. What, I have to ask, what are we doing with the Night Mother? Because honestly, I'm not cleaning her, okay? I'm the listener. I listen. I'm not the cleaner. There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Um, his cookbook? It's become quite I a may phenomenon. Have. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. Okay. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Festus! The crazy old man. Are you so, so. sure he's found the identity of the Gourmet? And not just blown something up, started giggling and screamed, I've done it, and you've misunderstood him? Oh. And how are you? Actually, you know what? I'm going to have to talk to you about the contract, aren't I? I I'd, I'd like to limit my exposure to, to you as much as possible. Hello, Festus! Ah. I also have some jobs for you. Nazir? Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Death, my Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. She, she mentioned it, yes. I need to kill him and take on his identity and, uh, what, cook sweet rolls? Quite so. Excellent. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Astrid was under the impression that you knew. You did, you did. You just blew something up, didn't you? Do you have any idea? So you don't even know who the gourmet is. Wonderful. Do you have any idea? Oh, indeed I do, indeed I do. Okay. In my, um, 
Investigations. I came upon this. Blowing stuff up. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Oh, but Ooh. not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I've met him. And this Anton Viran knows the gourmet's true identity. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Viran. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Viran, kill him. Okay. Loose ends and all that. No, no. Next, you'll have to... No need to explain. Are you still paying attention? I'm paying attention to just pl Waiting with bated breath? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, okay. and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Why don't we just cut off his head? and throw it down a pit or something. Uh, what else can you tell me about the Gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Or well, her. nobody except Gaius Morrow. And you've already taken care of him. Well, why do did we not do this the other way around? Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. So it could be a Breton. In any event... Our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tabriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Okay. You definitely, definitely make that sound really foreboding. I like the way you do that. Yes, I do. Tell me about the cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published I believe a few I've years read ago. That. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. Probably but his is chocolate that yeah. gives me the runs. Okay, I did not need to know that. No, I did not. That's an image. Yes, it is. So the gourmet is in Skyrim. He is in Skyrim. I'm not travelling off some... I mean, well, he'd have to be, wouldn't he, if, if, the, if the Emperor's on his way here? Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. Wait a minute. When the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart kept the gourmet around in case things changed. Okay, so there was a previous and so visit the planned. Gourmet has Got remained it. in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Oh yes, absolutely. I will uh, I will free Remember, him. The Markov keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Terrible, terrible. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Need something. Uh, Maluril is dead. That was the mage, I think. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. Yeah, yeah. But I digress. Here's your payment. Thank you. Uh, Helvard is dead. Hmm. Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. Here's Are we payment. not? I don't know. Well earned, as always. Making a mess in our own backyard a little with that one. I do I do worry a tiny bit about that. I'm ready for the... Ooh. We have another contract. The last hmm. one. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship, Red Wave. Wait! The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Didn't... Good luck. Didn't I speak to her? Isn't... 
Isn't that the woman I got the drugs from to frame someone to get in the good graces of the guy in solitude? Or am I thinking of a different pirate ship captain? Tell me about her. Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. And let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract, and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Out of curiosity, why is nobody else doing these contracts? Any advice on my current contract, and by that I mean the gourmet? Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about this Varane giving you the information you need. Give him a good scare, and he'll squawk like a hag raven. Okay. That said, if your attack on Varane is witnessed, those Markarth guards are going to be none too happy. <sighs> They're really happy when I'm around, unfortunately, but, you know... Go on now. Luckily, I have influence in Markarth, you see. The advantage of uh, making friends rather than just sort of Rhetoric randomly contract? murdering people. Yes, you are correctly. Oh, God, they don't talk about... The Brother... Uh, do you have any wa- I'm not falling for that again. Any advice on my current contract? You've been directed to dispose of the gourmet's body, is that correct? Yes. I often find water to be a suitable hiding place. A lake, a pool, the sea. Hmm. This, this, this is interesting. Um, I, I, I was thinking some large beast's lair. Need something? No, no, no. I, I do like her. She's, she's just- You must mean my She's helpful. Yes, she is. Hello, Bub. Okay, I'm gonna. It's been quite a boom. Look at Yeah, 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 yeah. My targets make the mistake of not perceiving me as a threat. Last mistake they ever made. Yeah, you, you, you've mentioned that several times, and by several I mean just so many times. Please, please, please stop. Any advice on my current contract? Yes. Don't kill the gourmet. Oh, I know you have to, but it makes me sad all the same. I love the gourmet's recipes. The world will soon be a blander, less flavorful place. What? Well, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Could we repeat that? I, are you saying I shouldn't kill him? Yes, don't kill the gourmet. Oh, I know you have to, but it makes me sad all the same. Oh, I you, love you, the okay, you, recipes. right. The world will soon be a blander, less flavorful place. You're, 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 you're saying you I wish I didn't have to. I, I thought you were you suggesting that there was some other what way I was going to get myself in further trouble. Where, where, where's, where's my friend? Begins with V, he says, not remembering his friend's name. Um... Could he be asleep? I mean, he was injured, wasn't he? He was injured. It wasn't Gregor. Uh, was he? Was he having? Okay. I'm looking for an Argonian. You, um. Okay, if you're here, who is using the training thing? Oh, it's you! Sorry, I'm so used to this being... Um, okay. Need something? Yes, sorry, I thought this was where Ambion is always Shadow scales are making noise. Forgotten. Ancient tradition. From another time. Yes. Um, Vizara. Viz, Viz, Vizara. I'm going to remember that. I really am. I'm terrible with names. My bad. Any advice on my current contract? Hmm. Well, assuming this gourmet is just a cook, it will probably be an easy kill. Just be discreet. Alerting others will be the real threat. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm... Until next time, brother. I mean, I'm not totally sure how useful that information was or advice, but I like him. He gives good advice, if somewhat obvious. Hello? Shoeless, do you there have... There you are. Look, I, I just wanted to say thanks for coming to find me back in Dawnstar. Crazy Jester finally met his match, am I right? Are you being nice to me? Okay. I'm not sure how to take that. Any advice on my current contract? I was going to say, other than Wolf, but perhaps I should not. He seems to be trying to, uh, 
I don't know, be less himself. Any advice? The last thing you need is my help. Listener or not, you've proven yourself time and again. To Astrid, to the family, and to me. D did he get stabbed in the head or something? Because... Kill well and often. Uh, I, I, I'd like to think I do both, although not that I often. I mean, I don't want to be you give me too much seen as, you know, obsessive. I am, after all, just a girl. Now, ordinarily, I would head up here and head to White Run and take a carriage to Markarth because the last time we traveled through here, there were rather a lot of dangerous looking gentlemen patrolling. However, I feel we might be a little better prepared for those gentlemen now. And there is a mace to be found there, and apparently a book. The Last Scabbard. I think that's what we're finding for a blacksmith in Markarth. Yes, indeed. There are a few other things I want to find for the museum, and that, well, for me. So I'm thinking I may go this way. Yes, indeed. There's a little side of me who's never really forgiven the people over here for making me constantly go this way every time I want to go to this side of the country. So, I'm thinking that is what we're going to do. I've got some potions, including some night vision potions. I think we could um, figure something out. If the worst comes to the worst, we can uh, wait for night and sneak around invisible, dispatching those people. You know, maybe I will just quickly stop here and... Yeah, we got a courier. We got a courier. What is... <sighs> Fine, I'm getting off my I've horse. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. What is it? Oh, is it my boots? Is Let's it my see here. Looks like that's it. boots? I've How got the go? boots that match the outfit. I've got the boots that match the outfit. It's probably that. Notification note. Well, yes, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. What was the scribble notes? I've read it. Khajiit ring obtained. Well, oh, right. Yes, that's all of the different item. Did I hear something? No, I was thinking that, um, you know, seeing as we're away from Falkreath now and we're heading into uh, dangerous territory, perhaps I should uh, get prepared. And there is, of course, a, uh, well, a hut over here. You know what? Let's take some rabbit meat while we're... Actually, you know what? Let's not take any of that meat. There are vampires around here. You do never know. A, it might irritate the last remaining one. And in spite of the fact that I feel capable of facing vampires now, I generally think it's a bad idea to annoy them, especially over snacks. But um, also, I mean, how sure am I that that is venison? Hmm? How sure? Not very is the answer. Okay, and... Yes, we don't want to spoil it with the torch. Oh, oh, hey! Okay. We don't need double cloaks. No, we don't. Yes. Feel a little more intimidating, especially riding this horse. I do worry about riding like this in the middle of the day. Hello, officer. I'm on my way to a leather and mask convention. Yes, that's, there you go. Yes, I am. I'm a noble off to some kinky get-together. Yes, indeed. It's just up ahead. We're going to turn and head into unpleasant territory. So it was either this or the uh, thieves' armor. Because my crimson archer outfit, it, it's very nice. But it's not quite as functional as this gear. No, it's not. And uh, those gentlemen did look somewhat tough. 
So, functional is a little bit of a priority. It's not the only priority, of course, style and making a good impression are still important. I thought I saw some... What am I... Is that a tree? I've never noticed... What the hell is that? I've never really... It was a tree, right? It was a tree. Is 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 my mind playing tricks on me? There was a there was a funny looking tree. It was it was was it this? Hello, nice mass. Okay, let's not speak to the strange person. It was Was it that tree? It looked I don't know. Somewhat man-made. Am I hearing Nernroot? Good deed for the day. I mean, it's also good for invisibility and resist magic and damage health. Could you not push me into the pond? Thank you very mu much. I'm not chasing butterflies. There's something deeply embarrassing about wearing this outfit. Riding this horse, and then randomly getting seam. All aboard. Grabbing butterflies, he says, leaning off his horse right now and grabbing some butterflies and flowers. No one was looking. But you know, I mean, I want people to see this outfit and say, oh, there is that masked dark stranger once more. Death is afoot. Not look at the prancing posh guy in his leather trying to catch butterflies. I'm... I'm really somewhat in awe of that vista. That really does look pretty damned incredible, doesn't it? Or was that what I was seeing? No, I don't... Could you... Okay, what is... That is that on our it's not. We don't need to check it out. I've been spending way too much time hunting for artifacts. That I've started looking at things and thinking, I wonder if there's anything there I can put in the museum. Uh, is there any way you'd rather spend the day in honey brew meat with a winch on each arm? Okay, that's an interesting conversation going on. Don't yeah, look. Oh, is that is that something at the base of the? My feet are enjoying all this exercise they are getting. My legs are less enthusiastic. Your various body parts are having an argument with themselves. Then I suppose. What? It, what? What is that, Inigo? I mean, I, my first thought was it looks, um, well, a cult. We should stay away. And then I saw something at the base. Okay. I'm not Gulka's monument discovered. Lavender. Yes, I'm picking flowers. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to... Heavy painted round shield and an iron sword. They're not really particularly valuable. No, they're not. And there is something mildly worrying about this place. Like, you take the shield and something's going to pop out and say Who disturbs my slumber? Anyway, let's just be on our way. Let's be on our way. We're, we're just sightseeing. We're tourists. We're paying our respect to this monument. So if there's anyone watching, we're being completely respectful. Yes, we are. Totally respectful and um, showing due deference to your culture. Yes, indeed. Is the sun going down? Have I spent this much? T oh, God. Does this mean I don't have Zenithar's blessing? Please tell me 
Oh, no, I do. I do. I've still got it for a while. I need that for the mace. Yes, I do. To get the mace, wherever it is, I will need that. Okay, the, the canyon we um, turned back at. Hello. Can I speak to that person? In a go. Orc! Hello! Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. Nope, we're definitely not interested. Until we're definitely an orc drug dealer. We're not interested, especially not Inigo. Inigo's very not interested. Are you Inigo? No, you. What is that? What is that? Oh. I saw it. You did not need to turn me to see it. Is that over there? I think so. Rorix! Oh, we've gone the wrong bloody way. We've gone the wrong bloody way. We're not going to Rorix dead. Why would we go to Rorix dead? What is there in Rorix dead? Is there anything remotely interesting in Rorix dead? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say no. Maybe a place to refill my water. How how well am I uh, stocked on water? Ooh. I could refill the water, couldn't I? I could refill the water while I'm here. Let's just refill the water and then... Should I get a night's sleep or... Would this be a better... Now, no, night is falling. We should definitely be on our way. Let's just get some water. Frost fruit in. Come on in. That's just an... Just open the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. And I, won't, I won't be staying. I was just curious. Mralki! If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Uh, I would like to refill water. Of course. Thank you. Uh... It's a very nice place you've got here, but I'm afraid I will not be able to stay. He's wearing rather mm. nice clothes. Yum. Sweet rolls are irresistible. Rory. I only take real coin here. No handouts. If you've got some no business bond. in Rorikstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. Uh, Juan. Okay. Is the town named for you? Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Right. The gods' blessings. Is that the whole big sort of phallic monument? Off to the side, is that is has the war taken a toll on yum yum yum. A sweet roll never disappoints. You've just eaten one, Inigo. You have just eaten one. Slow down. I don't have many more to rob. Has the war taken a toll on your settlement and its people? Not yet, anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the holds fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course. As the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for, a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Okay, and you, you fought in the Great War, obviously. Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in this part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. A I healer? You, that man is a miracle worker. Okay, well, mm -hmm. thank you for your time. Old son of mine, Eric, wants to be an adventurer. He's a good-natured lad, but he's got no idea how dangerous the world really is. I thought I saw a sweet roll for a second. Um, yeah. That man was awfully well-dressed for this neighborhood, if you ask me. And apparently there's a healer called... 
Juan around here. Cowflop farmhouse. That, in a go, is uh, our signal to get the hell out of here. I have no idea what a cow flop is, but I suspect I do not want to step in one. Okay. Okay. 